Welcome to Lesson 209 of A Course in Miracles. And I mean, I'm sure you have realized that we are way past the half, the half line, line of this course. And this means for us that um, our practice and our responsibility has incre in increased. And I just want to mention responsibility for a little bit, for a, for a short while, so you, we can get it a little bit clearer. So when we start our journey, when we are very unaware, our 100% of responsibility is like this, because there is not much awareness. So, you know, we make mistakes, we, we hurt others, we hurt ourselves, but we're not aware. So, you know, it, it, this is our limit of consciousness. Whereas when we are walking in this journey of awareness, realizing, you know, what is my part in my creations in this world, our 100% of responsibility keeps increasing and increasing and increasing. And my invitation at the moment is for you to look at where is your 100% responsibility at the moment? Meaning at 100% power. Meaning what changes can you truly make in your life? And what changes are you ready to make moment by moment? And this is not to say that we don't have challenges. Of course that we do have challenges. It's not that the more responsibility you have or the more awareness you have, the more at peace your life might be. But the, what, the situations might happen around us, but the way we deal with things, the way we feel mainly about the things that we're going through changes. And this is the invitation at the moment. So the lesson today is about love, 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 love which is all the course is about love as the, the most powerful force in the universe. Love, which to me means peace, silence, in my mind especially, space, connecting only to the, to the, to the source, to God, to divinity and just hearing and following its guidance. To me, that is love. And you need to look at what is love to you. Yes. So can I be in this space of love when I am being challenged? And this is for you to look at yourself. Challenge, I'm not meaning at the moment, I mean, it could be any challenge that you're going through. It could be an illness, it could be an accident, an accident. It, it could be death, um, or it could be just a discussion with someone, someone um, hurting you with words or with actions. And okay, what is it that I need to do here, right here, right now? And one of the things that I'm practicing at the moment, more and more and more, it's identifying which are my boundaries. What is it that are my boundaries? What hurts me when others, what others do? And can I have clarity on this? And can I express it in a uh, civilized, loving, clear, um, centered, manner and to me this is love yes so love first of all and, and I know that it's a cliche it sounds like a cliche starts by me you know what I mean I need to love myself but the loving ourselves uh, we're not talking about that I look at myself in the mirror and I go oh my god I look amazing because tomorrow I'm going to look at myself in the mirror and I'm going to go, oh my God, I look so ugly. So, and you know that this is the way it works for all of us. The loving is finding that space within that is in silence and devotion and connection to the divine, to your divinity. And from your divinity, from this connection, 
be in your world. And the lesson refers to this, to the love of God. The love of God that pours through us. But we need to unblock the pipes for this love to continue pouring because sometimes our pipes are very covered by judgment, by I don't forgive, I don't forget. <laughs> oh my God, what they did, they're wrong and I am right because this is what it's all about always, isn't it? They are wrong and I am right. And they're, they're on the other side, they say, she's wrong and I am right. So how do we get to a point of peace? And this is something that you need to ask yourself. How do I achieve peace in this situation? And what do I need to do to feel peace in this situation? Yeah, moment by moment. So going back to the beginning of the lesson, 100% of responsibility grows as uh, with your awareness. Yes. And see how, how aware you are and it's okay. If this is not a race. It's just... Um, observing what's going on for you and deciding whether you want to keep being like this or you want to make your life a little bit lighter happier more joyful love driven many blessings <laughs>